Yo, what's up? It's actually before the video started. I kind of just want to say sorry for not uploading the what if Deku had Godspeed yesterday. The file got corrupted, and let's just say I have to do it again right now. But I thought it uploaded, I didn't really check since I was pretty busy yesterday. But the file got corrupted, and with that being said, also the what if Deku had Obito's eyes will be coming out soon. I'm working on the script for it right now, and other than that, just like and subscribe, and you know. If you mess with the video, you know, leave a comment. Let me know any suggestions. But other than that, let's get into this quick recap. So on the last part, basically went over the USJ attack and All Might telling Deku that he had a suspicion that All for One may be behind everything. And that they may be gutting for him after what he did. And he reveals the truth of All for One and the one week break starts after the USJ attack. So the one week break starts and with Deku having nothing to do, he decides that he's going to develop his own breath style to maximize his capabilities and you'll never guess what it is. <laughs> it's a thunder breath that Zenitsu uses. After that, he spends an entire week perfecting it and meditating, trying different techniques when he finally develops the style he'll, he'll use. Obviously, I already said it, thunder breath. Now you guys may be wondering, why would I make him more OP? Well, because I can. I mean, why not? I made him broken as fuck. <laughs> No, I'm playing. But with that being said, Deku masters his breath technique along with a couple other techniques that I'm I'm pretty sure you guys will respect. <laughs> so the sports festival arrives and he's ready to shock the world. Unlike in canon, he actually gives a speech due to him having the highest score ever on the entrance exam. He goes up and gives a speech and let's just pretend I made one up because I do not feel like writing a cheesy, corny speech that I'm just going to have a hard time <laughs> reading. But... So everybody starts cheering Deku's name and with when everybody when all the classes went up to UA to check out the competition, Bakugo won't be a dick to everyone and the other classes won't really have anything against them. After the speech they announced that they're gonna be having a race and before the race, Bakugo would go up to Deku and say, Don't think you'll win so easily. I've been training nonstop to beat you. And this time, I'll crush you, Deku. Deku then smiles and says, Well, on the first event you sure as hell won't. Bakugo then tisks and tells Deku that he better bring his A game. Deku then goes up to the starting line and before they said go, Deku uses his breath technique to take the quickest breath of air he can as well as activate Godspeed. As soon as Midnight blew the signal and before Todoroki could even use his ice, Deku blasted off leaving after images of him and blitzing everybody and before anyone knew it, Deku had already won. The rest of the race continues with Bakugo getting second place and Todoroki getting third. After that, Deku goes up to Bakugo and slaps him on the shoulder and says, What's the matter, slowpoke? Bakugo then gets mad and says, You only won because this is a race. If we have any combat, I'll beat you, Deku. Deku then smiles and says, I know you'll be the hardest opponent to take down, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Then the next battle is, uh, the next event is told to them, and like usual, it's the cavalry battle. After the cavalry battle is announced, unlike in the original, some of the people in the cavalry battle are kind of scared of Deku and, you know, a little um, intimidated. I mean, they just saw somebody practically teleport to the finish line. That's what they saw, but Deku didn't teleport. He straight ran the entire thing, and he was just so fast that none of the cameras caught him or anything. I mean, he was there before anybody could even blink. So a lot of people were scared to join him, but Uraraka goes up to Deku and asks to be on his team as well as Momo, and they both look at each other and think, I'm gonna make him mine. <laughs> I just wanted to throw that in there just cause spice things up. I don't want it to be so clear cut that who's he's gonna end up with, cause I'm still thinking about that. All jokes aside though, it's gonna be either Momo or Uraraka. I'm not really sure. You guys let me know. Which one do you want? If I get three people to say Momo, then I'll pick Momo. If I get four people to uh, three people to say Uraraka, then I'll go with her. After that, Deku then smiles and says, this is perfect, I just need one more person. He goes up to Tokuyami and asks him if he wants to be on his team. He creates the same plan as usual, except this time, they'll be more powerful since Uraraka can make them all weightless and Momo can create gadgets to make it harder for them to fall. Tokuyami can be their defense and Deku will be their speed. After that, they announce that the race will be starting soon and after the countdown starts, Deku puts his plan into action. Uraraka makes everybody quirk weightless and Momo uses her creation quirk to make saddles and strap everyone onto Deku so nobody falls off. That's when Deku tells Tokuyami to get ready and he tells him that they're going to go for all the headbands and they all need to be ready. After that they all get shocked and in a flash Deku throws everybody into the air and speed blisters most of the competition and takes all their headbands. 
except for the Bakugos team, Todoroki's team, and the rest of the people fighting in the festival. And after seeing that, Bakugo says he'll take care of it. And Bakugo then jumps off his saddle and goes to try to take Deku down. When all of a sudden, Deku says, you know what? I was saving this just for you. After that, Deku says, Thunder Breath, Dragon. And a huge blue lightning dragon appears on Deku, kind of like the Susano. And as Bakugo is coming towards Deku, a lightning dragon roars, sending Bakugo flying back. Everybody is shocked that Deku... And right as that happens, Deku uses his dragon and flies into the air, flapping the wings of the huge dragon. Takes the entire team inside of it as well. And Deku then looks at their team and says, well, just wait it out. I doubt they'll be able to do anything to us. No need to take any more headbands. I'm pretty sure we won, and the competition will be very minimal. After that, they just stay in the air, and Todoroki tries to use his ice to climb up to the dragon. But the dragon just roars and breaks all the ice and sends Todoroki flying back. Bakugo tries to use his explosions to fly in the air and try to catch him, but he can. Every single time he tries to, the dragon just roars at him and sends him flying back with a huge thud. After that, the next part of the event will be told to them, and it'll be the fighting tournament. And as they do that, the same thing happens with Shinso's team quitting and all the extras getting put on the tournament. <clears throat> My bad. And since Orchiro isn't really worried for Deku, he doesn't tell him anything, and Deku looks at Shinso and thinks they were being controlled. And then he asks if, and then he thinks, if I have to fight him, I have to take him out as quickly as possible. After that, Bakugo and Todoroki both come up to Deku and challenge him and tell them, here, they're gonna win. After that, the matches start, and obviously we all know, Deku versus Shinso, it gets announced, and Deku's kinda shocked, but he walks up to the ring, and as soon as Midnight says start, Deku uses his full speed to speed bullet Shino and send him flying, crashing into the wall unconscious. Not gonna lie, guys, I kinda did that, because if Deku would've got caught in the mind control, he'd be toast, and... And yeah, I mean, I don't think he would be able to have anything to counter it. So I just made it so Deku's smart and, you know, he just notices that Shinso's team. Sorry, guys, I had to go take care of something. And also one more thing. If you hear any like background noise, you know, it's not really my fault. It's just the family's here and, you know, I had to take care of that. But uh, where was I? So I just made Deku smart, you know. And he seemed to notice that they couldn't control themselves, and that confirmed it, because that's why Deku ended up taking Shinso out quickly. After that, they take Shinso away, and the rest of the matches go like canon, except for Bakugos. He destroys all of his opponents way quicker than normal. And after that, it's announced that Todoroki will be fighting Deku. As that happens, Todoroki pulls Deku to the side, like in canon, but this time he tells him he'll beat him, and none of that, are you all my love child shit. <laughs> And he tells him he'll beat him with only his left side. And Deku laughs and says, alright, I'll fight at half of my power too. And Todoroki hearing this, he gets mad and grabs Deku's shirt and says, listen here, you bastard. You don't understand. And Deku says, how should I? You're always closed off, you half and half emo. Maybe if you said something to me instead of just staring at me, I would know. After that, Deku then speed blisses Todoroki and before he knew it, Todoroki was on his back, being lifted just by one of Deku's arms and grabbed on his shirt. As that happened, Todoroki uses his eyes to try to freeze Deku's hand off. And as that happened, Deku just started moving so fast it melted. After that, Deku lets him go and walks away and says, I won't bother you anymore, but if I beat you in this match, you have to tell me what's bugging you so much. After that, the match is announced and Deku goes into the arena and Todoroki's staring daggers at Deku. He stares, he stares at Deku and... And before Midnight could even say go, Todoroki shoots ice straight at Deku, and Deku just dodges it. He's barely even using any of his power. He's only using about 10% of his speed. He doesn't even give off any aura of lightning, and he appears in front of Todoroki and punches him so hard, he sends Todoroki flying. Todoroki then catches himself with ice and slides to try to attack Deku with the ice, but before Todoroki could even attack Deku, Deku used about 30% of his power to jump into the air and grab Todoroki by the shirt and flings him straight back at the ground but before Todoroki could hit it he used uh he like softened the blow kind of like how Gar did and after that Deku appeared behind him and after that uh wait, 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 wait. uh he grabbed him and flung him into the thing and after that Deku appeared behind him and grabbed his head and slammed it into the floor with so much strength it would have finished him off but Todoroki would unconsciously use his fire to soften the blow and 
he creates a crater in the floor with his head and after that Todoroki is bloody and he, he they thought that the match was over but right as they were going to call it off Todoroki gets up and blasts fire from his left side from his right side and ice from the other and as that happens Todoroki started to use that attack that he used on Deku with the uh, one for all versus half, the half and half court so as that happened Deku Deku turns around and smiles and then says oh I guess this is your last attack as that happens Deku charges up to a hundred percent and as that happens Deku just speed blitzes Todoroki before he could even launch his attack as that happens Deku then slams his fist right under Todoroki's jaw sending a thunderous uppercut at him and sending him flying straight into the air after that Deku basically teleports behind him and elbows him straight into the ground outside of the arena of course and Todoroki is passed out his eyes are white and blood is coming out as that happens Deku then lands on the floor and and teleports base he basically grabs Todoroki and rushes to recovery girl so she could heal him because he knew what he did was pretty fatal. After that, all the matches go as canon. And Bakugo ends up making it to the finals. Except with this time, Todoroki is replaced by Deku. And yeah. So after that, Bakugo basically goes up to Deku and says, Hey nerd, I'm going to destroy you, you know. Deku then says, I don't think it'll be as easy as you think. He says, I'm going to go out loud on you because I know... You're the only one here who stands a chance against me. And Bakugo then smirks and says, that's right. After that, he he walks out the door telling him good luck. But even with it, he won't beat him. Deku then smiles and thinks, wow, he's gotten so powerful. I, I think I might have to go all out on him. After that, the match starts. And Deku then walks into the arena as well as Bakugo. And Midnight says, go. And as that happens, Deku, Deku activates everything and activates his breath and rushes straight at Baku and that's when Baku barely dodges by a hair. He then sends an explosion right at Deku's back but as that happens he realizes that was a after image and right before Baku could even react that's when Deku sends a thunderous kick right at the side of Baku's head sending him crashing straight into the ground. As that happens Baku uses his explosions to shoot himself back up so he didn't take any force of the blow from hitting the ground. After that um, what's it called? Deku then smiles and says, wow, you wouldn't have been able to do that a couple months ago. Baku then smiles and thinks, I'm not the same. He then you, he then uses his explosions to go all the way up into the air and then yells, how oh, it's our impact. He goes crashing into Deku and Deku thinks, this is not good. He then gets out of the way as quickly as possible. But that's when Baku smiles and from the tips of his fingers, he shoots... He shoots explosions straight at Deku, and one of them ends up hitting Deku's leg. As that happens, Deku slows down a bit and thinks, wow, I can't believe it. Deku then starts shaking his leg as fast as possible. He starts moving it as fast as possible, and as if nothing had happened, the wound starts slowly sealing up. Deku then smiles and says, you know, this is going to be kind of hard, but I could put an end to this as quick as po- as quickly." as you can think Bakugo then thinks he's like there's no way you're that strong Deku then thinks it's time to show him he then speed blitzes behind Bakugo could even think or react or even move an inch and he grabs Bakugo's head and slams it into the ground and then flings him almost out of the arena and as Bakugo was about to fall out he then uses his explosions to send him flying back up into the air and says, How did you get so strong? Declan smiles and says, You haven't seen anything yet. He then slowly starts walking up to Bakugo and Bakugo's in the air, kind of afraid. But as that happens, Declan then teleports behind him, basically. And he's about to deliver a huge hit that would have taken Bakugo out. But before the hit could even hit... Bakugo then, uh, Deku then starts shaking his hand and goes straight through him, kind of like the Flash. Basically what the Flash does, and he goes right through his head. As that happens, Bakugo's like, what? Did you go right through me? And that was basically just to take Bakugo off guard. Deku then spins around and kicks him, sending, sending him crashing straight into the ground. 
and then gets behind him and kicks him right into the air. And while he's in the air, Dick then says, Thunder Breath Dragon! And takes a, a humongous version of the original dragon he used and hits Bakugo right where it hurts, knocking him out immediately and sending a lot of shockwaves towards him. And a huge tornado was created in the in the air by the blast. He did that up. He did that in the air so that none of the none of the spectators would get hurt. And as it happens, Bakugo then starts falling down into the air. Right as that happens, Deku thinks, "I've won." He then goes up to Bakugo to try to catch him, and as he does that, Bakugo then thinks, "Don't think you've won." He then uses his full body to create the biggest explosion he's ever made, kind of like Prominence Burn if you've seen season four of of A My Hero Academia, and. It, it, it almost connects if it wasn't for Deku barely being able to do um, basically permeate through it using his speed. He moves so fast that nothing really touched him. And after that, Bakugo is just completely knocked out unconscious. And ever seeing that, he thinks that was like my prominence burn. Then the match is over and Deku takes Bakugo to Recovery Girl and... He won. I mean, he won the entire sports festival. And after that, when Bakugo woke up, Deku went to go check out. Everything basically played out normal with Deku getting the medal. Uh, Bakugo, would Bakugo get second? But I don't know. I don't, I don't really want to bother with who got what place, but Deku basically won. That's all that matters. And yeah, after that, once Bakugo gained consciousness again, Deku went to go visit him and said, you've gotten a lot stronger, you know that, right? If I didn't have that move in my arsenal, that would have immediately taken me out. Probably for a while, too. Bakugo then thinks, <coughs> stop trying to make me feel better, Deku. He then smiles and says, I'll try to get even stronger and faster so I can keep up with you. Deku then says, well, I guess I'll just have to train just as hard as you. And that's where I'm going to wrap it up for today. I mean, went through the entire sports festival, the race, the cavalry battle, and all the little battles. Oh, I forgot to mention, in this one, Deku basically cheered on for Uraraka as well as Momo. And both of them did slightly better in their matches since they had him in their corner. But other than that, nothing really changed. But yeah, that's going to be it for the sports festival arc. And be ready for part five since I'm going to be doing... The stain arc as well as the hero internships and all that stuff. And after that, you know, we, we gonna get into even more stuff. I think I might be able to, if you guys want, um, because I can definitely keep going with this series because it's doing really well for my channel. I mean, I just started about two weeks ago, I think it was, and I'm getting some really good views. But if you guys want, I can even go into manga ter ter territory once I finish with the what if. All the way until season four, if you guys want. But other than that, Zether out.